I'm Dave Kimbell. I'm the business manager here at the Cathedral of the Sacred Heart. When we were looking at our plans, um, this large heritage oak tree, we really deemed absolutely necessary to save. We, we said this is, this is extremely important to save. Um, so we tried to keep the, the, the trees that we had to take down to a, an absolute bare minimum. And um, this magnolia, unfortunately is one of them and then there is a, a kind of an invasive water oak that that we're taking down as well um, but all of the heritage oaks on the property are going to stay and then there are two heritage oaks back here that will become part of um, sort of a meandering permeable driveway that goes around them the permeable gravel driveway is going to meander through those two heritage oaks and then the the building the new parish hall addition is going to surround this large heritage oh, oak here. We did have to change our plans for the architectural details on the on the parish hall addition. When we went out and looked at where the building was going to go, uh, originally the design was going to go a little bit too close to that tree, mm -hmm. and we said, let's, let's make sure that we are going to save that, and not just save it, but actually um, redesign the building itself to emphasize. Well, I see you have the permit applied for, and it's very unusual considering you're taking down just one that I believe is a protected tree. Can you tell me why you decided to erect this sign? Because the cathedral is such an important part of our neighborhood community, we wanted to be good stewards and be totally transparent about everything that we're doing. The water oak, I mean, we could have taken this down without telling anybody, um, but we wanted to just be very clear to the, the neighborhood and the community exactly what it is that we're, that we're doing. So that's why we chose to put up the sign, um, even though it was not, it was not it part of the requirements. requirements. Right. You're setting an example for the whole community. You didn't know it, but that's exactly what we're hoping to have in the near future. So thank you for being a good citizen and neighbor. Well, good. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.